Hey guys, it's Pastor Jim. Welcome to day 10 of our 21 days of prayer. Uh, halfway there, um, but listen, tonight's code red. Be there, get there early, and bring somebody with you, all right? All right, here's the verse for today. Zechariah chapter four, verse six. I love this verse. Uh, you will not succeed by your own strength or power. Thank God, right? You will not succeed because of your striving. You will not succeed because of your worth ethic. You will not succeed because of your talents or your abilities or, or because of your accolades. But here's what he says. But by my spirit, says the Lord Almighty. You know, there's a verse in the Bible that says he will build his church. You know, that's you and I. He will build his church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. The fact that he will build it takes the pressure off of me. I know my victory is not because of what I do. It's because of what he has done. It's my partnership with the finished work of Christ. I want to declare over you today that you are victorious and you do not fight from a place of defeat, but of victory. It doesn't matter what the doctors have said. It doesn't matter what you have said, what others have said, uh, what social media says. It matters what Christ says about you, about your circumstances. He has the final word. His power can bring victory in your life. Let's pray that over you, over your circumstances, your family. I want you to see through the eyes of faith today. I want you to get your eyes off what you're looking at and get your eyes on Jesus, right? We're not gonna look at what's in his hand. We're gonna look at who he is, his character, all right? We're gonna trust that who Jesus is, he's faithful to us, right? Heavenly Father, I thank you that it's not by our strength. It's not by our power that we win. It's because of your spirit. It's because what you have done, what you are doing, and you're going to do. We trust you emphatically. Maybe you need to tell the Lord that today. We trust you in our situation. You know that situation you're going through right now. Lord, we trust you in that situation. We trust you with that person, uh, that, that conflict. We trust you in our finances, with our children. Lord, everything tells us in front of us that, man, things don't look good. But Lord, by your spirit, we have the victory. By you, God, we trust you. you your word says that you even war on our behalf. Or for those that are single, those that are, are widowed, uh, single parents, Lord, your word says that they are close to your heart. I pray that you would war on their behalf, fight for them, continue to provide for them in Jesus' name. For lo those that feel fatigued, I thank you that you are their strength. You are their source. Lord, your word says that when we're weak, man, you're strong. When we feel poor and crushed in spirit, in our lives, you are rich. And Lord, we make a declaration today in every circumstance. We get our eyes off the facts and we get our eyes on the truth. The fact might be we have more bills than money. The facts might be that our children are not making great choices. The facts might be that we, we are struggling in an area of our life. But the truth is you are moving in our children's lives. The truth is those circumstances, you can work them out for our good and your glory. The, the places of conflict, we invite you into. And by your spirit, bring about victory. Bring about miracles. Lord, to, today we declare upon our lips and our mind and our heart, we trust you. We're thankful for every situation we go to, the challenging, the bad, and even the good. We are thankful for every season of life because we trust you in Jesus' name. And Lord, we pray for Code Red tonight. We pray that as we gather together at our Avon campus, Lord, I pray that you pour out your spirit like never before. Lord, I pray for those that are coming that need a breakthrough. Let it happen tonight. Let it happen in whatever area. I pray for an anointing upon our praise and worship. I pray upon uh, Pastor Jimmy, your anointing upon his words for our children's ministry. I pray that you'd minister to our kids and our teenagers and our young adults, that the presence and the power of God would, would not be something that's foreign to them, but something that's familiar, something they hunger and thirst for. Let tonight be a night of miracles. We're coming with full of faith and expectancy. In Jesus' name, amen. And listen, Jennifer and I love you guys. We'll see you tonight at Code Red or tomorrow for day 11 of our 21 days of prayer. God bless you.